let's go, we spinning the block. Alabama hip hop radio, tune in while we go down, spinning the block. Tasmanian devil time in the way I go, I spin it. Uh, topics, information pending. We wanna know what you witness. We'll let you up in this position. From the school of hard knocks, uh, gonna knock off your socks. Uh, when we go and spin the block. Uh. What's good, everybody? It's your girl Ray the Gemini. Y'all already know I got a thousand faces, being a thousand places, and have everything in the world to say. And y'all know me for Spin the Block podcast on Alabama Hip Hop Radio. Y'all already know. I know I said I was taking a break, but bump that shit. We still here. We still doing more stuff. They ain't gonna stop nothing. Season coming, finna come out soon too. Anyway. But as y'all can see, I got somebody with me to side of me, boy. He been popping his shit. When I say man, he been popping his shit. Let me go ahead and change that. He been doing it. Just from photography, doing videos. Now he doing filmmaking. Man, y'all gonna give it up for Zaire, y'all. Look, 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 clap, 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 clap. Appreciate that. Yeah. How you doing? How you living? How you feeling? I'm chill, I'm feeling I'm feeling great. You know feeling good. I'm feeling great. Yeah, that's feeling good. good. I, I bet you is. Everybody streaming your movies and stuff. Look, <laughs> right, right, right. I know that's a good feeling. When somebody you watching is. your stuff that you created, right, you like, right, hell right. yeah. That's, yeah, that's, yeah. That's mine right there. That is a uh, it's crazy feeling. I know. Yeah. I bet it is. Well, I do appreciate you coming here to come spin the block with me. Sure. As you can see, I got these questions up here on my spinning wheel. You know, we're going to spin it a couple of times, and whatever it lands on, you got to answer the question. Okay. That's cool? Yeah, for sure. Okay. You going to kind of elaborate on the question? Yes, I will elaborate on the question. All right. You know, I just, you know how you would do in school, you had keywords to help you remember shit? Yeah, sure, that's what sure. it is. Let's see what we do, y'all. Spinning the block. Spin. All right. All right. It's saying, give these flowers. So what, so this is what you do where you give your respect and props to people that you work with, that either influence you to get where you at now. This is the time to give them their love. Right? For sure, for sure. Whoever it may be. For sure. <laughs> Well, really, it just, I ain't a lot of first few people I think of, like, my man and my family. Like, you know what I'm saying? Like, my big brother, Picasso. Like, if it really, if it went for him, it wouldn't be a me. Like, doing what I'm doing for the community of Mobile right now. You know, he kind of put the camera in my hand. And, of course, my uh, my cousin, Nuda, he pushed me with this film shit, just like I pushed him. So, if it went for him, I want to be, uh, when so determined to be a great actor, I probably wouldn't be doing so many films like I'm doing. You know what I'm saying? So, just getting locked in with him, I wanted to just give him his flowers. And also another thing I was thinking about um, when I first read that, when I was just sitting here, I was thinking about you, like, just give you your flowers. Because it's like, it take a lot to kind of impress Mobile. Like, you know where we at, you know where we from. So it's like, for you to get all them people hit me up to say, hey, she's the number one influencer, it, it was dope to me. It, it so, made me cry. Yeah, so I, I just want to <laughs> give you your flowers for that. Because it's like, I know you, I always knew you, you know what I'm saying? But it's a lot of people in Mobile, you know what I'm saying? It's a lot of people want to work with me, not saying like that. So I like, be thinking about a lot of people. So me asking that question in the first 10 minutes, ain't nobody say nothing. I literally was finna erase it. So I was like, nah, let me leave it up. I just went eight and got back on. I was like, Ray, Ray, Dixon, Ray, Dixon, Ray, Dixon. <laughs> I'm like, let's set it up there. Look, <laughs> that's what I say when right. I look. And then right. when I looked at the scene, I was like, oh, snap. Then Snoop texted me. It was like, hey, you know, yeah. we doing this. And I was like. Yeah, yeah what the hell did I miss? I go away from my. I don't. I usually keep my phone on me twenty four seven. But the Vito. moment I look away from my phone and come back, hey. all that shit popped up. Yeah, I was yeah. like, oh. Yeah. So oh. flowers to you. you know appreciate, what I'm saying? It, appreciate, yeah. it, appreciate it. Appreciate it. And most definitely flowers to my baby girls. You know what I'm saying? Cause they they keep me going. Got two baby girls. Oh, yeah. oh you a girl dad. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Oh, 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 you know that you know what they say when you have you know girls, what they say, right? What they say. That way. <laughs> so. <laughs> when they say, so on a man's perspective, when they say you have girls, uh, that means you are learning how to love a different way. Gotcha, gotcha. It's like for sure, for teaching sure. more love. Because, sure. you know, being with somebody, you know, your significant other or whatever, that's love. But just having something of your own that you have right. to love and take care of, they look it's up to you. It's a different love. Yeah, it's a different type yeah, of love. Yeah, so, sure. you know, I ain't got no kids yet. We're going to leave that way. <laughs> <laughs> My mama here on the side, and I know she start getting yeah, upset hey, about kids. grandkids, and I'm like, no, we ain't gonna start that. <laughs> <laughs> okay, you can go ahead and spin next one. For sure. Let's spin it again. Spin it block. Mentorship and building character. So, with this question, I know from um, your previous interview, you said you know you're being a mentor now, right? right, right. Yeah, so, so you have other. 
Yeah, so you have mentees. I know you got Trail, Trail Shotty, yeah. Shout Trail. Trail. He doing yeah. his thing. And I'm not sure who else you got, but I know him for Shout sure. Ladarius, Ladarius White, like Ladarius break, breaking White. news. Yeah, he, he been making noise, especially a lot of noise as far as like being in front of the camera with me. Like he been kind of impressing me lately. And it kind of made me want to work with him most. Like we working on a new project right now. It's, in, it's we don't have a title to it. But we deep off in the project. You're going to call it your untitled for yeah, now. Right, right, right. <laughs> and he's been, he been kind of showing off, so I can't wait to kind of show that to so, the world. I know. So I know with being a mentor, you know, it takes time. It takes patience. You know, you build and trust with your mentees and everything. How does that help you build your character? You know, because it's a, it's a two-way street. You helping them, but they also going to help you. They help you in some right, type right, of right. way. So how and what way have mentoring them helped Help you? Me. It's really um the team building, just having people willing to actually listen versus people coming along the way saying they want to be a team, team member but not moving like it. You know what I'm saying? So I think they know everything. Yeah, exactly. <laughs> yeah, a lot of people come around, or I let them come around, and I try to teach them so I can have a team. I help them, they help me, you know what I'm saying? So it's like, but a lot of people ego is being away. So like me being a mentor and people calling me saying, hey, would you mentor me? It's a different respect level. Like me knowing, hey, you respect me right off. So it's like, we gonna work on a different level. And they helped me as far as, hey, I got team members now, you know what I'm saying? So it's like, it helped me in many ways. Like, even like, them wanting to be shooters, like them filming too, like Trail. If I'm out of town, I can call, and somebody call me, hey, I wanna do this. Hey, Trail, go do this for me. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. All of there. So it just helped in different aspects, you know what I'm saying? Yeah, so. Okay. So, um, so let me say, when you started doing stuff, did you have a mentor? Mm -mm. <laughs> you did. <laughs> he said, mm -mm. "Basically, you just had to learn yourself." Yeah. yeah. So I think that takes a. So that makes. Picasso it was different. like the closest thing to my mentor, but I wouldn't even call it that because we were learning together. You know yeah. what I'm saying? Yeah. But that's still. But it's still, in either way, that's still not because you know most people that become mentors, they always have somebody right. that mentors it's them. Me. I, I really became one because the lack of. I ain't have a mentor. Like, me knowing where that would have took me mentally at a younger age versus everything I obtained to learn right now yeah. at the age of 32. Like, I learned a lot on my own. You know what I'm saying? So, I can, if I can have somebody avoid them potholes and just get them the game, I'm going to get that to them so they can go further at a quicker pace. I can say I actually like, we ain't had no OGs or no, no real stand-up guys around in the community. Like, me coming up to where people see you doing something they they enthused by it and they gonna actually help you get in other doors that you can't get at a younger age or at a younger mindset that you wouldn't even think yeah. about. Cause you so know, like, I just like try to do that for them. People be trying to gate, some people be trying to gate keep too. Yeah, ain't no gates over here. Yeah, just like, just like I brought them through that night. Come on, tell the world who you is. Yeah, yeah. like you really did. Yeah. You put them on the right, spot. Right, 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 right. <laughs> that's what they about, man. Just like, cause, cause people be enthused. Like, just like how he said last night, man, I know you a celebrity. Like when I met you, I knew you, a, I knew you was a celebrity. It's like, you can get that same light shine on you, little bro. That's what I want people to know. Like, I'm a, I am like to shine light. That's why I'm doing the movies, you know what I'm saying? Like, you can ask my little bro, knew this. Like, nigga, we just shot how many movies? And my main goal right now is to make him look like the best actor in the world. You know what I'm saying? So, he, of course, he's going to be the main character all of my f films right now. And so that big budget coming is like, all right, y'all, it's, it's time to do something. No, you still going to be in here. He's going to be the main character. You see, you see what he's saying, dude. Nah. You ain't going to be there for long. You ain't the... Nah, nah, nah. Don't get it, don't get it messed up. Don't get it you messed ain't the, up. You ain't going to be the main character no more. You might be the co-pilot sidekick. Look, new <laughs> I ain't gonna, I ain't gonna, I ain't gonna do him like Nudie that, y'all. Nudie know what's up. Nudie know what's up. I know he do. I'm just talking. Nudie I'm just talking shit. I'm just saying, like, just giving other people them opportunities. Cause I know a lot of people see, they see the film, like, okay, new the main character again. Okay, new the main character again. I know a lot of people want to be the main character, and they gonna have the chance to do that. You know what I'm saying? But right now, we just uh, creating awareness. You yeah. Know, especially in You're mobile. Building up. Yeah, especially in mobile because a lot of people don't know that it's a film industry right here. You know what I'm saying? Like, so I'm just trying to, I feel like we like diamonds in the roof. Yeah, it's not many of y'all. Yeah. I look, I thought about that as like filmmakers that people do know about. Right. Like, in film production, don't, it ain't, it ain't that many. Right, right, right. At least I would say not on the level that you are getting yeah, to right, right now. Right, for sure, you for know, sure. just. And it's like, another thing with that though, I've been doing this. I ain't never had a nine to five. I've been doing this since I was 15, so. I respect the other filmmakers and where they at with it. It's just one thing that they, I ain't gonna say they won't do, 
it's like they don't, they don't want to collab or get a free game or it's like, I don't know, it's egos. You know what I'm saying? Like here in the city, but I respect it, but at the same time, it's like, come on, bro. Like, I be seeing them and what level they at with it by the work they doing and what, it, what they got going, but yeah. at the same time, it's like, let's collaborate, man. Like, this could take all that, it further. <laughs> all that competitive nature ain't gonna get nobody nowhere. You know what I'm saying? Like, once once people get competition out of their head, they go. I'm trying to collab with everybody. Yeah, that's, yeah. that's, that's really the thing, too. A lot of people, like, it's everybody is numbers, bro. Yeah, and it's like, for us to be, being able to collab is just a whole different mindset in general because, right. you know, everybody either feel like, oh, that person ain't worth it, they too good for it, or, you know, stuff. Yep. Just little stupid shit like that. And it's yep. like, it shouldn't be yeah, like once that. Once the ego get killed and everybody understand the overall goal, that's when everybody win. You know what I'm saying? It's just like in the team sport. Like, as a team, we're going to get in the huddle, we're going to call the play. You run, you going to score the ball this time. Everybody need to understand, this person's scoring the ball. Next time, you might score. You know what I'm saying? But the whole team win. Yeah, people don't believe in teams. It's always, yeah. hey, what about me? Me, me, But now, though, we, we building that now, though. That's why we got the mentorship going. You know what I'm saying? We got Trail. You know what I'm saying? We got Nudie on the team, of course. Uh, I, it's a few people that actually help me. But when it comes to, like, filmmaking and me creating my movies, like, it be me. Like, <laughs> I'm, I'm just being honest. Like, <laughs> At least if like, face just... As far as creating it and producing it, like, it's me directing, me editing, me DPing, me doing the light, me doing the sound. Me and Nudy doing the story, bouncing back and forth off the story, and Nudy being the main character, bringing it to life. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. So, so would you ever mentor somebody at least, like, let's just say, for instance, um, you know, people get old. <laughs> yeah, yeah, for sure. And so if you wanted to pass something, pass your knowledge on down to somebody, would you be willing to mentor somebody like yeah, that could sure. actually take your spot Man, and keep your legacy going yeah. that you have? I've been working on that. I, I should have brought my daughter with me. My daughter, 10. Uh-huh. Yeah. yeah. So is she doing it? Her middle name is Zaire. You know what I'm saying? So she feel like I'm you, you me. That's how we feel. So she like directing. She like doing what I do. You know what I'm saying? She like being a writer. Uh, we actually did a short film. It's on YouTube right now. It's called Knock. It's her and my uh, two nieces. <laughs> so they came up with a short <laughs> film. They were talking about they want to do a movie. They want to do a movie. So I'm like, all right. All right, before we do a movie, this is what y'all got to do. Y'all, I gave them a little structure of what I go off of when I come up with stuff. Y'all got to go off this structure, go in the room, come up with y'all idea. When y'all come out, I'm be ready. They went in there for like 30 minutes. I thought they weren't going to ever come out. I thought they were just playing. They came out, we ready, we got our idea. I'm like, they told me their idea. I'm like, right, let's do it. Set up the light, set up the camera. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? I shot it, and then I sat there and edited it right in front of them and let them watch me edit it and put it together. Because it's like, that little piece of information in their mind going to take them way further than me having a little DSLR camera at 1516 and where I'm at today. You yeah. know what I'm saying? You know, kids so like, that I age feel like she that. really gonna take it there. You know what I'm saying? Once she get to understand it, like, oh, this is what's going on, for real, like, she gonna take it there. Yeah. Aww, that's, yeah. so, that's yeah. so cute. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> and then, not, not even speaking of just my kid, uh, Nudie, Nudie's son. He been in every short film we did from Exit in 2019 to now. Like, he in all the movies. <laughs> Look, that's that's nice. Y'all yeah. look, y'all getting the kids involved. Said yeah. somebody, we got y'all finna Jackson this Jackson five this thing. I had somebody finna come, somebody finna take the reins, okay. or something like that. Okay, then. Gonna spin it again, five minutes. For sure, for sure. It's a question on here that I'm looking at, and I'm like, is this? <laughs> oh, that's the same one. Yep. Well, let's, 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 Criticism. <laughs> this is kind of the second question I didn't want to pop up. All right. So, you know, within no matter what you do, there's always criticism. Everybody got their opinions. Everybody okay. got their own shit to say, whether it's bad, whether it's good, uh, in between, right. or whatever like that. So we going to speak on, well, we know the good criti- the, the good stuff, but how do you handle when somebody, like, criticizes, like, your, your work? Like, oh, do you, yeah. you know, does it depend on the person, like how you take example. it? Give me, give me an example. Because it's, it's different type of criticism. It's, yeah, like, I was it's, get... like, it's like disrespectful criticism. And then it's like, I'm this trying man to put it in sub And it's like, I'm trying to, you feel me though? You feel me though? Y'all feel me? Okay. <laughs> so like, okay. Um, it's different type. All right, all right. It can be kind of disrespect, disrespectful sometimes. Like, all right. So let's just take on the respectful criticism yeah. where they all like, right. hey, I don't feel like you did this angle on this part, this, that, that well. I feel like 
you could do better or something like that for versus sure, somebody sure. saying man your camera shit whack man you yeah, can't do yeah, you yeah. can't film yeah, you yeah, can't yeah. Do <laughs> yeah. the lighting ain't even right like okay two separate hey you told me <laughs> What? <laughs> I just hey, gave him. He told me hey, to give an example. Hey, she talking like she was there that day. <laughs> you know what I'm talking about? <laughs> that's too oh, much. my bad. Look, I <laughs> Man, wasn't hey, there. People be like that. <laughs> people be like that. It's so funny you say that. But, um, all right. So, how do I take the respect for criticism? Yes, how you like, take respect for criticism. I ain't gonna lie. Sometimes I take that and I run with it. Because I like to cater to everybody's vision, perspective. Oh, you see it that way? Let me do it that way this time. You know what I'm saying? Okay. So it was like, I get that shot just for you in my next film. You know what I'm saying? So when the next film come and you watch it, you'll like, you be satisfied. So like, oh, I love the movie just because I got that one shot. For yeah. You know what I'm saying? So it, it be more like that. I used to get offended sometimes, like, shit, I know what I'm doing. But it's, at the same time, like, everybody sees so different. It's art. So, like, that's how you see it. I'm going to try to get it that way for you next time. And I'll be petty and send it to you like this. Ain't this what you were looking for? <laughs> you feel me? Here you go. You now feel? say something now. Right, 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 right. But that's just being petty. I'm what's, up, what's up? What's up? What's up? What's All up? right. As far as with the bad criticism, yeah. the disrespectful criticism. Man, I don't really be like, fuck it. Just being honest, like. Basically, you just ignore it. You yeah, hear it, it but you don't acknowledge it's, it. It's a ton of business. It ain't going to stop me from doing nothing that I'm doing. So I really like. This is one end after other, you know what I'm saying? criticism from somebody yeah. that's not even in, like, yeah. you know how people, you got them folks that criticize that's not even in entertainment, don't do nothing Man. with filmmaking, and they just act like they just know everything. I just ignore that, yeah. Like, you know, you right. <laughs> God, I'll be petty. Yeah. I'll put them in the movie. You right. Nah, Let them try that. to act and just see how they do. I ain't in my movie. Nope. <laughs> do a short, do, do it like a skit and just see how they do Hey. And if they fuck up acting, yeah, you bad at acting, motherfucker. Uh, you done get... did this, this, this. Yeah, you don't like how that feel, right? <laughs> okay, don't do me the same way. Now we can move gonna, forward. No, nah, I ain't even gonna do. I ain't even gonna do dirt for dirt. I'm gonna let them. I'm gonna let them. I'm gonna let them get that car from somewhere else. It's like, not dirt for dirt. Nothing. It's teaching a lesson. Man, ain't got nothing to do with me though. <laughs> it's called teaching a lesson. People gotta learn lessons. I feel. I feel. I feel. One hundred percent. That ain't bad though. How you handle it? Cause yeah. it's a good way. Is it? It's hard to. Cause you know some people have they. Com- some people just be like. saying shit, man. Some some people just be saying shit. Like you know they what just saying? like to hear themselves talk. Yeah, you just be like, all right, bro, yeah, you right. You know what I'm saying? But that's a good. It's but it's a good thing that you do handle it like that because, yeah. like I said, even being here, ego, yeah. pride, yeah, yeah, yeah. they start getting mad and then they want to fight over just something you said and you just like, bro, it's yo, okay, it's just an opinion. Right, Damn. Right, right. It's, Right. They ain't paying you to do it, What's so they, they and now if they were paying you, yeah, you can have all man, the my head, my head be so in the water working it and trying to create. I don't think what nobody got to say, cause all the work I know I got that I know I'm finna drop. That's all I be thinking about. Damn, I'm light years ahead. <laughs> <laughs> Literally, like I be thinking like, damn, they can't fuck with me for real. I'm light years ahead. I got, I got a, a whole series, three episodes, thirty minutes a piece, ready to drop. I got new moves I'm working on. I got so much work. That's literally all I be on. So it's like, I don't even really be thinking about the people criticism in a bad way. Like, I ain't saying that. And then, really, I don't really get negative criticism. I don't get it a lot. I get it probably every blue moon, every once a year. <laughs> literally, it be somebody. It'd probably be a hater. Yeah, uh, even no somebody real just, criticism, like nah. constructive criticism. Yeah, That's yeah, what it is. Exactly. Something about the damn movie. I was just waiting on it. I was like, hey, I put about seven questions yeah, on here yeah, for yeah. it. But, okay. So, you know, I told you I didn't watch Box Theater. I didn't watch it about good three, four times. Sure. And I told you that one of the things I did like was the character development. But it was very relatable. So, let's just be real. We got that one person we know that's in between one thing and the other. Right. You know, I ain't right. gonna, I can't spoil too much, right? Right. Okay, I ain't gonna tell. Yeah, too not much. too much. Yeah, cause yeah. I do want him to go watch. Yes, yeah, I yeah. do want him to go watch. So I ain't. Try, I'm gonna try to say it the best way I can. But you can't give him, give him some, make him want to go I watch. Am. Give yeah, him some. Yeah, she, I got you now. I got you. Look, look, just stop. Like, right. right. Gotcha, 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 sure. gotcha, sure. gotcha, sure. gotcha. I got you. I got you. All right, so you know, it's being relatable because, like I said, we have you have every character that you put in there, whether it was in there for a few seconds, a couple of scenes, we all know. We all got the one person that just nags and fusses us, fuss at us all the time, give us hell, just won't right. shut the fuck up. Right. But they mean well, right. and they trying to help you. Shout out you to even, Yeah. 
You got the mo- like I said, you got the motherfucker that's stuck between two separate things. And I do like the fact you chose boxing instead of the cliche football or fucking basketball, basketball yeah, yeah. or you know being drug, a rapper. Dope. Yeah. yeah drug, so dope, I, I, yeah. I like I like that it, it brought it brought more. It's very realistic. Like I said, For it sure. brought positivity in there because like hey, I'm trying to do better. I'm trying to get right. my life together, and right. everybody can relate to that. You know, trying to get ourselves right, but we yeah, got that little, elevate. we got that little demon over there somewhere. Yeah, some pulling a tugging that like, guilty, whether it's like something, you know, something that you do, a guilty pleasure or a habit or something of like that. So I just wish I had the rich ass uncle like that. God damn! <laughs> I'm talking about Uncle Rich on that. <laughs> uncle Rich as fuck. I'm looking like. Rich on that. Right, right, right. All I need to know is y'all. I wish you. The only thing I would have say. I wish they had, they gave a little background yeah. on the granddaddy, but I kind of wanted to know, like, what the know. fuck this man was doing? And I ain't gonna lie, I ain't gonna lie. I think that's what made, that, that kind of gave it a, a cliffhanger, too, because not even, like, not even seeing him. Because we thought about, like, hey, we need to pick the granddaddy, and what, we gonna show the granddaddy? Like, nah, we ain't never gonna show him. I was sure waiting on that. <laughs> I'm like, nah, I ain't never gonna show him. I was like... Like, dang, I want to see him, too. Ain't nobody look. He ain't get to see him. All he do is just bring shit. No, I want right, to see right, what's right, going right, on. Right. I want to see who granddaddy. How right. bad is he? Who I is wanna... granddaddy? Hey, they trying yeah. to figure out who you is, granddaddy. Yeah, I'm trying to figure out who it is. You might have to tell me off camera. For sure, but... for sure, for sure. For sure. <laughs> but, like, so how do you really just sit there and try to come up? Like, do you purposely try to come up with these ideas to make it relatable to other people? Or are you just pretty much just think of stuff that you just like like yeah i want to do something like that that's what i'm gonna do or do you actually like you say you try to cater to people so do you try to cater to the audience to give these topics and these situations to make it relatable all right so honestly this was this movie came strictly off of us catching the vibe going to atlanta we shot it and filmed it and edited it all in 16 days you know what i'm saying literally the hour, hour long we did in 16 days we was working on uh, our project it's entitled blueprint uh the series we're working on and um me and him one day we was texting each other and i'm like hey bro let's hit atlanta and he like he just called me on facetime he was excited like bro what the hell i was just on the phone with somebody from atlanta he's like this boxer named elijah pierce so uh well he, he was on the phone with somebody who knew he liked yeah and he was like man we can get him in the movie I'm like, shit, it's crazy. Let's go to Atlanta. So, yeah. <laughs> so we was both on the same kind of vibe. We got in the car, went to Atlanta. So uh, once we got up there, on the way up there, we was plotting. Just like, damn, what should we do when we get up there? We like, man, you already know. We're going to shoot a movie. Because what we've been doing, our last projects, we just been improv. So our last movie right before uh, right before Box 10 was The Real Monday 2. Yeah. And right before that was the real one they won. And I don't know if people you you know what I'm talking about. Yeah. You know I know I know your work you did at least by ten to twelve you different feel me? Right, projects. Right, 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 right. So Bob Stan just came off of a vibe. We went up there to meet the dude and the day we went there to meet him, shake his hand to meet him, the vibe was just perfect, literally. We was like, Yeah, we from Mobile, from Alabama. Another dude was in the uh Mike Sears. Shout out to Mike Sears. He was like, Man, I'm from Mobile. <laughs> So I was like, nah, you lying. So he went to name and streets. I'm like, ah, oh, he know what he talking about. <laughs> <laughs> it's, it's a couple of streets. He went to name and streets. I'm like, you know what you talking about. So we caught a vibe with him. So we was like, damn, bro, you gonna play new to Big Brother, and then he gonna play the boxer. And we shot that one scene, and then we shot a few more scenes. With my homeboy Quizzy, shout out to Quizzy. Quizzy, my uh, Atlanta homeboy. I've been on him since I was like 17. I moved to Atlanta when I was like 18, and I was there for like six months. Oh. <laughs> and then me and my sister moved back. But in the meantime, I made Quizzy. So every time I go to Atlanta, I just tap in with him, see what he got going. So this one particular time when we was there film, I called him like, hey, what, you want to be in the movie, bro? He like, yeah, I ain't tripping, what's up? I pulled up on him, we shot a few scenes. He not thinking nothing of it. A couple months later, we on two. <laughs> now he like, hey, bro, everybody calling my phone, bro. <laughs> People calling my phone, like. So it's like, um. Yeah, and I noticed too, you did have some artists in there. Like, I ain't. I know I seen a couple. Yeah. I know I seen T Man ass screaming somewhere. I saw HD. Yeah, 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 yeah. Um, um, Fave. Yeah, I seen Fave. it. Was, it's yeah. it's some other people. It was like two yeah. more that I seen, but I know I seen them out there. I said, look at them. Shout out to them for <laughs> support. Yeah, yeah they so. they was definitely showing it. Okay, so did you? Now I know when it comes to shoot movies, y'all have bloopers. What's the funniest blooper that you that had go, that you had going on in that movie? Yeah. The funniest blooper. Hey, gotta be some shit with Nuda. I'm trying to think. <laughs> he, he Dang, knows. how many bloopers did he have? He know. He be having some bloopers. <laughs> was it was it when he had the knockout? 
Cause that's hey, hey, hey. Speaking of that, <laughs> we, get, not look, look. we got a lot of room. I might give you one exclusively so you can put it up right here. Yeah, look, look, we're going to do a Let's pause say, break do that. and then put we're the blooper up. Yeah, we're going to do that. We're going to do that. Yeah. Yeah. I'm going to find it for y'all. Please yeah, find me a blooper. Find yeah, me the funniest one because I just feel like one of them was when he tried to get knocked out. Man, that was so funny when we were shooting that scene, bro. It was funny, bro. The new that, you know, nigga ain't never been knocked out. Nigga ain't knocked new that. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? So, in the movie, it was tough for him to play that role. It was a, I, I kind of, I peeped that. Look, and it, it was, was a crucial moment. Yeah, the when first. He called, yeah, when he called, yeah, when he called. Oh, you only got knocked out one time. Yeah, that's, that's why I'm begging you. She tried to get you. She tried to get you, bro. <laughs> no, look, look, look. Because I, when I was watching it, I looked at how he faced. <laughs> why, why, why? You gotta say it. I, was I, like, I, I was like, damn. He looked like he got knocked out. I, I wish they was able to. I wish it was a way you was able to get him to get hit for real, not hit for real, but yeah. it looked like he got hit, hit for real. More like, yeah, more yeah. real than it was, yeah. I but, don't know, he would've got mad. No, 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 it was supposed to be like that, but it like, me being honest, it was all improv. This is our first time doing a boxing movie. Oh, really? You know what I'm saying? Okay. So it's like, we not knowing how it go. Uh, he in the ring with a professional boxer, you know what I'm saying? So it's like, we weren't trying to go too crazy and hurt him, or he hurt the dude by mistake. I would have took the knockout. But it was still, but no, it was still, it was still but, really good acting though. It I'm was, gonna say this though. I'm gonna say this though. Nude have been in that gym, so part two, we working on part two, so part okay. two gonna have a little, make it a little more rough. You know what I'm saying? A little more scuffle, like they gonna. Yeah, be he gonna have to hit. Yeah, they gotta be hitting on that. Yeah. Yeah, you look like what, what's what's the um with the boxing? It's not um where's this, the lightweight. I ain't finna remind you. <laughs> lightweight. Like, what's that? What's that? <laughs> lightweight. I'm lightweight. What you say? What? We, we gotta get you in the middle class, no. Hey, we gotta get you it. middle class. Don't worry about it. My boy on the weight. <laughs> well, he, he yeah. did his thing, he though. Did he thing. Did, he did yeah, everybody thing. did. Yeah. Even DJ Blaze. He. Oh, DJ Blaze. Now he. That, yeah. I he was brought a lot of light to the film. DJ Blaze. He, he surprised me. Yep. See, I never thought of him to act, but he's always, you know, in general, is a personality, a character alone. Yeah. So just to see him act, and I was like, okay. Man, it was dope, man. It was dope. Even even having him, like, on set and having him act, it was dope. Like, like I said, everybody, everybody, everybody on, that, on there did really well. Like... Yeah. I, I could I couldn't even knock it. I watched it because I like to watch the three four times yeah, to make yeah. sure. Cause you know first time you be like oh yeah I like it. Right, 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 right. Let me watch it again. Sure like, right, Let right, me right, make right. sure I like yeah, it. And yeah, that's right. why I told you I feel like this is one of one of your best pieces to me Appreciate because like it. I said the character development, the story plot, Appreciate and it's the thing is you compact it all within like an hour. What you say? Right, 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 right. You know a lot of people can't do that. Yeah, they that's gonna miss something. That's they gonna be missing something yeah, within yeah. that hour. Like you know, and I didn't seen a lot of stuff and ten too you saved a lot of people with the short attention spans. <laughs> yeah, 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 yeah. You know, yeah. a move when they get about an hour, hour and a half, you be yeah, like, they turned right. it off. Yeah. Yeah, but right you, at that hour more. Yeah, so you you so that was a that was a smart move that you did on that note. Appreciate it. That's my first official feature. I was saying um the real one they two was, but I feel like I don't know why I feel like box in our first official feature. You know what I'm saying? It's just reaching higher heights than uh, the real one they two. You know what I'm saying? Like even with two of licenses and picking it up. You know what I'm saying? Hey, like, like you said, next stop Netflix. Yeah, next stop. Yeah, Netflix. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> I think uh, Peacock gonna pick it up next. You know what I'm saying? So, oh, yeah, Peacock, that's Peacock, what come on, man. We waiting on y'all. What you saying? Yeah. So, yeah. off topic, two off topic questions I'm gonna ask you. So, any cla- is there any, if you was able to direct any classic movie that is out? What movie would you direct? I'll give you two, because one is sometimes hard. I'll give you two. All right, two. All right, any classic movie. Or just any movie in general. You know, like a, like something well known. Because a lot of them classics, like, you don't want to mess up a classic. No, I'm saying, like, if you was to direct it, yeah. how exactly it went, which one would it be? Would it, would like, it be known for? Yes. Which movie would I want to be known for? Um, I like Friday. I like Ice Cube movies. You know what I'm saying? Yeah, Ice Cube do that. Cube's Ice Cube vision. dope. Yeah, he dope. You know what I'm saying? Like, uh, what's another one? A classic movie. Classic nowadays is like goddamn 2009. No, look, look. We, we in our 30s, so we going like 90s. All right, all right, all right, we going to be in the 90s era. Let's right, do 90s. I'll say, I'll say um, Minutes to Society. You know what I'm saying? Um, Belly. A black film. You know what I'm saying? Okay, what about... Uh, do the right thing. All right, then. Spike Lee joint. What about one that's not a black film? Um, yeah. let me see. Um, it's on the tip of my tongue. Kill Bill. 
Kill Bill. I like Quentin Tarantino. Oh, yeah. I like Quentin Tarantino. He, like Quentin Tarantino. Like, he, he do some good. Yeah, he great. He great. He, he, yeah, he, he great. Just, yeah. He the only one I know that can can direct and do Western movies, and I like that shit. Yeah, he's great. <laughs> yeah. He's super great. I'm not even going to lie. Okay, then. My last one. If you had a superpower to enhance your directing abilities, what would it be? To enhance my directing abilities. Yeah, superpower now. I know you got a little nerd in you somewhere, so you know the uh, superpower. Uh, let me think. Hold <laughs> <laughs> up, hold mm -hmm. I guess to be more than one of myself, if that's a superpower. You want to clone be, yourself? If it be like fool me. Yo, yeah, you so want... I can run a whole set, like, and more and more, more efficiently. <laughs> <laughs> right, I can hold the boom mic on straight, you know what I'm saying? I'm BPing, I'm direct. Yeah, I, That's I, what I, you I, have a team for. Man, but it's like, I've been trying to build a team for a while. It's like, I'm jaded on the team. My team gonna come to me just like my mentee. Like, you know what I'm saying? So it's like, I ain't gonna, I don't need a team. I, I got a team, you know what I'm saying? Okay. I ain't gonna say I don't need a team. I got a team. Okay. New, yeah, to, new to my team. Yeah. Uh, we making it happen. Yeah, you you yeah. have your team, but you yeah. wouldn't be you wouldn't be opposed to expanding your yeah, team. Yeah, not at all. Yes. Okay. Look, I wanna work with people. Like I say, I just don't wanna work with people where their ego is too big, where they come around me feeling like they can step on my toes. Like, come on bro, I know who I am. Well you the narrow you the narrow by half the people in the mobile alone just from that. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? <laughs> like, yeah, yeah, no, I a really lot of people get... a lot of people come around, don't know how to act. You gotta know how to act. Like, you it. have to conduct yourself in a right, 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 in an right. orderly fashion, and that's all it comes down to. It's like if I go in a room with somebody on a higher level of success than me, that I feel like, hey, this is something I'm trying to reach. Yeah. This is something I want to be a part of. I'm gonna act accordingly. Hey, you want to play this role? Cool, let's do it. You want me? To, I ain't gonna direct right now. Cool, I just hold the light. You know what, <laughs> what I'm saying? So it's like people come around, they just want to do what they want to do. It's like, nah, bro, you gotta get in where you fit in sometimes, and then when you get in. Work on what you really want to do. You know what I'm saying? Oh, yeah. yeah. Okay. What's your favorite scene in boxing? Uh, favorite scene in boxing. When Noodle was like, uh. <laughs> 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 Noodle was like, uh. Man, I was just a kid, coach. <laughs> I was just a kid. He was, he was so serious on there. I'm oh, just no, a look, kid. Look, look. I'm behind the camera, like, I'm finna drop a chip. I'm like, this is the acting I've been wanting right here. I feel like a real director. I am a real director, but I'm just, I feel like Quentin Tarantino. Man, my brother like, left me too. What you say? What you say? What you say? Right, right. I was like, I was just a kid, coach. Yeah, he felt it bad, though. He felt it bad, though. And it's like, it's impressive to me because it's like, I see the growth. Yeah. I see the growth in Nudie. Like, it's a lot of shit we shot and didn't never pit out. Like, from the years we were doing, from the past 10 years. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? So, to see where he at with it now, and, like, to be confident on screen, that take a lot. You know what I'm saying? So, flowers to him. You know what I'm saying? He doing his thing. Definitely doing his thing. Mm -hmm. Doing his thing. Well, Zaire, you already know. I yeah, appreciate for sure, you for, for sure, coming. For sure. Spending the block. Going to yeah. tell my people. Even though they probably know where to find you, going to yeah. tell them where they can find you. First, <laughs> make sure y'all spend that block with Ray. You feel me? But y'all can find me at uh, Zaire251 on Instagram. That's Z I A R E 251. You check out my website, Zaire251.com. Z I A R E 251.com. If you want to be a part of any of my movies, well, I host the Action Collective. I don't know how soon it's going to be out, but the next one is uh, the 18th, 6 p.m. to 9. You can go on my website and sign up. Um, you can find me on Facebook, Zaire, Z I A R E, Film Life Pyramid. So that's pretty much all my spots. You know what I'm saying? Oh, just Google me. You'll see all my shit. You know what I'm saying? Google's sure. a motherfucker, ain't Google, it? What you say, man? I Googled myself that day. I was kind of impressed. I did, too. I oh, looked. I was like, I'm oh. like, damn, this who I am. I'm like, they pulled up some stuff I didn't want to see, though. I'm like, bet, Google. <laughs> I'm fuck with Google. Well, look, I, it do. They, they get all your good stuff, but then when you scroll further down, I started seeing, like, my... You're going to sit in day. Ooh, MySpace. The old Twitter, when my name, my name was not Rave the Gemini. It was right. Bubbles. Right, so... Right, right. <laughs> hey, they got pictures on me on Google. Big shirt. Big ass shirt in Birdville. <laughs> I'm talking about... Shit. So many days, <laughs> the real throwback, like, real throwback. throwback. Well, I do appreciate for you sure, coming, sure. man. It's, it's been fun, man. Till so next time, y'all. Zaya, Ray the Gemini, spin the block. Yeah. Skr, skr. <laughs> that way. <laughs>